Six years ago, we released some of our first Toyota Tundra videos ever for the 07 to 13 Tundra, and they actually put Headlight Revolution on the map back then. Thank you so much for watching our Tundra video series, where in this episode, we're gonna talk about what's probably one of the most important lighting aspects of your vehicle, the headlights. Now it's been six years since we've revamped that content and today we got one of those trucks in and you're not gonna believe how far the headlight bulb technology has came in the last few years. In this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a seven times brighter low beam and a five times brighter high beam. And you can do it in less than two minutes. Now this is the bulb we're going to be installing today. Now six years ago, LED bulbs were not that great. And the best thing you could do in your Tundra was an HID kit, which is, and that is exactly what we showed you back then. Now, today, everything has changed. LED bulbs have caught up tremendously to HID. They are super easy to install. And we don't deal with a ton of those glare problems when it comes to this particular bulb that you might see with other kits on the market, HID and LED alike. Now this bulb on my right hand here is the SV4 bulb. And the reason we chose this one is it actually fits between the low beam socket on the back of the headlight and that little sheet metal divider that is part of the chassis on this truck. If you go installing any old giant heat sink fan base bulb back there, chances are you might run into that, that sheet metal wall, won't fit, it doesn't matter how bright the bulb is if it doesn't fit your truck. This bulb fits and it is just unbelievably bright as I'm about to show you here before and after, it is just silly. <laughs> The low beam takes an H11 bulb. We're gonna be installing a 9005 SV4 bulb in the high beam. It's an awesome combination. As you're about to see, the high beam on this truck was already okay, and this just makes it a completely different animal. So the first thing we gotta do is remove these two plastic clips here on the inside of the headlight. All you gotta do is get under the center portion with a pry tool. You can use a flat screwdriver or an automotive pry tool, whatever you've got. Get under it like so and just pop the whole thing out. Do the same thing for the top one. Now we're going to remove this little plastic piece right here and honestly at this point it's loose here. If your truck's never been taken apart before you might want to use a pry tool between the fender and the plastic piece itself just to help pop these two little pins out. But basically you just pull this thing straight out toward the front of the truck and it releases just like that. Nothing to it. If it's never been apart before, you might struggle with it, but honestly, it's not too bad. Now, we've got two 10 millimeter bolts up top here, one on the right, one on the left, and then we've got one coming in from the side here. That's all we have to remove, and our headlight's gonna come right out. All right, with those three bolts removed, set them safely off to the side, this headlight's ready to come out. And honestly, if you just lift up on these little brackets up top, it's gonna come out just like so. Now would be a great time to throw a little tape down here if you plan on working on the headlight attached to the vehicle still. Uh, microfiber rag underneath would be just fine. Go ahead and put that under there now and we'll get our bulbs installed. So I love working on these Toyota Tundras because they just, this is it. It's all you gotta do. So our high beam's right down here and you can press in on the little tab and remove the connector. I'm sorry if you guys can't quite see this. Connector comes off just like that and you can twist your bulb counterclockwise pop it out just like so. Let's grab our SV4 high beam bulb. It's the 9005 size. If you bought this kit and you're at home, not sure which one's which, it's the 9005. Install it, twist it into place just like that. This thing fits awesome. It's not gonna wiggle out of there. Go ahead and connect the driver to the factory wiring just like so. Go ahead and press in on this tab right here just like we did with the high beam. Remove the connector, twist the bulb counterclockwise, and this is our low beam bulb. This is H11. Take your SV4 bulb, and it's just the same thing we did for high beam. Twist it clockwise to lock it in place, connect it to the factory wiring, and it does not get any easier than that. We are done. We can reassemble this truck, test everything out, make sure everything works great, and let's go see how much brighter these things are compared to stock. <laughs> All right guys, this is what you've been waiting for. Our low beam Lux reading came in at 90 Lux. Lux is your usable light output, firing down the road. It is exactly 
the best measurement when it comes to how bright, or in this case, how dim a set of headlights are. 90 lux is almost laughable. We've seen fog lights brighter than that. Let's see what the SV4 bulbs can do. We're not gonna move the truck at all. This is the SV4 bulbs installed in the exact same spot as our factory bulbs were in this Tundra. As you can see, this is significantly brighter than what this truck pulled in with. We had 90 lux to begin with, and we are now at 700 lux. That is almost seven times brighter than when this truck pulled in this shop. Can you imagine driving home tonight with your truck with seven times brighter headlights? You're gonna see things sooner. You're gonna see further at night. You're not going to hit deer. You're not gonna run over things in the road. This is well worth the money. Now let's check out high beam. Now our high beam on this truck is the only saving grace. This came in at 310 lux, which still isn't super bright for a high beam, but 310, we'll take it. Now let's see if we can brighten that up with the SV4 bulbs. Now the SV4 high beam is what really seals the deal here. This came in at 1550 lux, 1550. Compared to 310, when you need to hit that high beam switch, when you're down a dark road at night, when you're flying down the highway and nobody else is around and you hit that switch, you're actually going to see something a little bit different compared to when this thing rolled off the lot new. Now, if this doesn't quite sell it for you just yet, check out the additional flood we've got with our high beam. We're gonna see a lot more left and right. We're gonna see a lot more down low. And more importantly, we've got an insane hot spot in the center. This is really gonna reach far and it's gonna be just awesome for you if you're driving at night. If you guys have been with us the last six years, I just wanna thank you for staying with the channel and watching us from then till now. As you'll certainly tell, we've definitely made a lot of improvements with the products and all the different things we can do for your vehicle. Now, if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe. We're gonna revamp the entire Toyota product line and I'd love for you guys to see all the new stuff that we've got for these things. Reverse lights, cargo lights, fog lights, you name it. We've been working on it and I'd love to show it to you. Thanks for watching.